This is an Earth ship. This is an Earth ship. And this is an Earth ship. Sandwiched between a supermarket and a school stands a testament to human ingenuity. The world's very first state-owned Earth ship. We live in a, in a time where the very basic things aren't really appreciated as much anymore and uh, may be taken for granted. It was hard to convey the idea that, you know, we want to build a building that's not connected to anything. The very concept of an Earthship is to work with nature, but that doesn't mean going without modern necessities, such as heating, water and electricity. Nestled in the heart of Luxembourg is the first state-owned Earthship. But this isn't just any building, it's a project that defies expectations. Designed to thrive in a colder climate, where bitter winds and high amounts of humidity challenge the norm. They are from the US. Basically, Mike Reynolds started building them in the 70s in New Mexico. It's made out of um, repurposed or recycled materials. In our case, it involved a lot of um, volunteers that helped to build it. The design is ecological and socially driven, inspired by natural systems, a topic that is more prevalent than ever. It's an off-grid building that uh, provides uh, electricity, uh, water, shelter, heat and food. So basically working together with nature, uh, as opposed to building a building just along the road, just facing the, the road, here it's faced towards the sun to optimize uh, the solar gain and use it for electricity, but also for heating and cooling. But what truly sets this Earthship apart is its unwavering commitment to self-sufficiency. Known locally as Arda Chef, its goal is to educate and inspire the next generation in sustainability. The idea is to use this space as an educational space where we can get teachers and the students to come and we explain to them several topics that are linked to the building. For example, building material, electricity or power in general, water consumption, uh, food production, soil. So all topics that are somehow linked to the building and we use the building as an example. The Earthship is insulated using earth ram construction and repurposed tyres. This is both an economical and environmentally friendly way to achieve a solid structure and a thermal mass in a changeable climate. It's just one of the many innovative ways the building was constructed. There is no grid-connected electricity or water supply to the building. Instead, they rely on Mother Nature to provide these necessities. The water comes from the sky, from the rain. So basically, uh, we catch the, the rainwater on the 300-square-meter roof and uh, store it in 30,000-liter tanks. Then we filter it. There's a, a pre-filter, there's an active charcoal filter, and then there is a UV radiation. There's a video on our YouTube channel where a farmer is also off-grid using solar for his business, which you may find interesting. While the Earthship stays true to its low-tech principles, the reality is that we humans need energy for our daily activities, work and a comfortable teaching environment. To address this, Victron Energy Equipment is being used, providing a solution that taps into renewable sources for power. As for the electricity, we have solar thermal for the heating and the hot water. We have a photovoltaic for the electricity and we have a windmill that uh, also generates whenever there isn't any sun. We're not wasteful with our energy because we know how much effort it takes to make it, but uh, there are so far no limitations. Uh, we use it as you would use any other um, home. 
we have several computers, machines running. We seem to have an abundance of uh, electricity. The setup includes four MPPT solar charge controllers and three multi plus two inverter chargers. Simply put, this means that energy from the sun and wind is converted and stored efficiently to power the Earth ship's activities. So of course in the summer we have enough electricity, but during the winter we, we might get faced with a situation where there might not be sufficient electricity where we hope that the windmill will do the job. Since we have the batteries, we can store it for, we, we estimated about a week of uh, consumption without any production, which in most cases should be enough. With a global shift in attitude towards fossil fuels, structures such as this are potentially a flagship in terms of public buildings that use renewable energy. Wherever we had to, we, we worked with companies and we explained to them the idea so they knew kind of what it was all about. Whenever we could, we would uh, get professionals to teach volunteers or to work together with volunteers to do the job. So basically, the professionals did the job and the volunteers helped out. The aim wasn't to get finished as fast as possible, the aim was to get as many people involved in this and to take as many people with us on this journey. A crucial part of the concept behind the Earthship was to teach and hopefully inspire the next generation in energy storage and self-sufficiency. We, we have a very strong collaboration with the uh, with secondary school here next to us. For example, we work together with them to install monitors of the building, so um, temperature, humidity, uh, light, uh, air quality, so on, uh, because they have also um, classes where they teach that, so it's a win-win situation for both of us. Hopefully this combination of innovation and nature will inspire more similar structures all over the world. A world in which energy demands are always on the rise. Things change, <laughs> climate change, I guess. We're very mindful of it because it affects us immediately. Whereas at home, where you're connected to the grid, you might not care so much, uh, but here you do. And uh, same goes for electricity. So far, everything's worked fine, but it still makes you think. And it's good, That's what it's intentional. I mean, it's not uh, by accident, we, we wanted it this way because uh, I, I think that it is essential to, to, you know, be mindful of your consumption in general, because abundance is not always there. <laughs>